Well, everybody's living someplace. Everybody is living in a watershed somewhere. And your individual actions as a human being have a ripple effect. Monitoring and assessing Minnesota's waters. That's an overwhelming concept, especially when you consider that in addition to more than 10,000 lakes, we have many thousands of miles of streams and rivers between those lakes. The best way to get this job done is to break it down into more manageable portions. The MPCA calls it a watershed approach to water quality restoration and protection. In the past, we basically were taking a parameter by parameter reach by reach or stream segment by stream segment or lake by lake approach. Now we've broken the state up into the 81 major watersheds and we are moving around the state doing all the water bodies within that watershed at one time. So it's much more cost effective and, and efficient in uh, how we accomplish that. The watershed approach is really the way I want to be teaching even in the educational system is that all things are connected and if we want to maintain healthy water we need to maintain a healthy forest like you see behind us here. It's just this is um, understanding, helping them understand how this forest system actually improves our water quality. Much better to be proactive than reactive like a lot of not just state agencies, but even county agencies up, up until a few years ago, you know, we're blessed with, with good, decent water quality or really good water quality up here. And with what the PCA is doing, it's allowing us to be proactive to, and hopefully either develop uh, protection strategies through ordinance or through actually on the ground um, project. By focusing on an average of eight watersheds per year, the MPCA can monitor and assess the entire state on a 10-year rotating cycle. Once the first 10 years are complete, the cycle will start over again. As the cycles continue, the MPCA will have baseline data and information that will help further identify trends, problem areas, and healthy areas within each watershed. Yeah, the wonderful thing about the 10-year cycle is, is uh, basically the first time we come through, we're really trying to assess the condition and what the current condition is. The second time we come through, we also we look at the condition, but we also assess what have been how successful has the activities that the citizens and and uh, people working on the project have been. So we can determine of the actions taken, what improvement did that result in. So we can continue to. Um, adapt what we need to do and, and fine-tune it so that we continue to move forward into the future. So uh, this watershed approach has led us to a very uh, systematic, um, thorough process for understanding what's going on in our lakes and streams. Watershed restoration and protection projects cannot be successful without some help. The MPCA needs the people who live, work, and play in these watersheds to help develop and implement restoration and protection strategies. This begs the question, how can I get involved in the process? That's a good question. <laughs>